Today on MTG Unpacked, the Magic Mystery Power Box Madness continues. So I've got three of these awful things from Walmart. Uh, the drawer here is looking for the randomly inserted vintage packs. The chances of getting those, I think, are slim to none. So you're going to get a whole bunch of leftovers here. These go for $34.98 from Walmart. I actually discovered today that Maya has them as well, but they want $39.99. That is a bit rich, which probably explains why they tend to sit on the shelves gathering dust. Okay, so let's take a look at the sleeves. So these are pretty decent. So we've got a forest. All right, let's reach into the box. What is the first pack today? Oh! Innistrad Crimson Val. Yes, my old nemesis. This is the kind of thing you expect to see in these, to be honest. Starting off with Kessig Flame Breather, Steel Clad Spirit, Vampire Slayer, A Braid, Grizzly Ritual Crushing Canopy, Rot Tide Gargantua Spore Crawler, Traveling Minister Drog Skull Infantry, Flipping It Into Drog Skull Armaments. Whispering Wizard, Vile Spawn Spider, Oakshade Stalker, flipping it into Moonlit Ambusher, and a Mythic right off the bat. All right, we will forgive it. I think it's about a buck now, though. Cemetery Protector. Uh, we've got an Island and an Insect Token. Oh, there's another card here. Oh, we were trolled. Okay. I guess that's the thing with these. And what a surprise! Innistrad Midnight Hunt. So I guess we've shifted from trying to offload these in the cubes to now putting these in the larger boxes. Wonderful. We have Blade Brand, Tapping at the Window, Electric Revelation, Storm Rider Spirit, Duress, Lamb Holt Harrier, Locked in the Cemetery, Gavany Trapper, Bait Hook Angler, Flipping it into a hook haunt, Drifter, Odrix Outrider, Diagraph Rebirth, Seize the Storm, and a Reckless Storm Seeker for the rare. Flipping it around into Storm Charged Slasher, a werewolf, of course. Another island, Foil Unblinking Observer, and an Insect and Troll card. So they're not actually troll cards, they do allow you to keep track of the day and night. Cycles, okay. So we've got a foil Valkyrie Harbinger. So this is the promo version. I think that's about a buck or so. Reaching in. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is a good pack. We've got a Double Masters 2022. Let's see if we can get something spicy out of this one. So we start off with a Sapraling. Cryptic Spires. Oh, what? Foil Mythic, Allosaurus Shepherd, this is insanity, I'll have to sleeve that up. Foil Web Weaver, Changeling, Creekwood Liege for the rare. Another one, Rafik of the Many, and Firemind Vessel Tower, Gargoyle Washout, Spark Mage's Gambit, Glow Spore, Shaman, Knightly Valor, Spell Pierce, Skeleton, Archer, Dark Dweller, Oracle, a Goblin Shaman, and Grapple with the Past. And Cartel Aristocrat. Okay, so we lucked out on this one. Didn't they reprint this in Commander Masters? I think the value dropped a fair bit. Uh, it was originally, was it in Jumpstart was the one? Okay, what's our final pack here? Okay, we've got a Baldur's Gate pack. Okay, so this box actually wasn't too terrible if you completely forget about the Crimson Vow and Midnight Hunt. But anyhow, next up we have Sky Diamond, Pilgrim's Eye, Lurking Green Dragon, Sword Coast Serpent, Reckless Barbarian, Wayfarer's Bauble, Steadfast Unicorn, Druidic Ritual, Kenku Artificer, Tiamat's Fanatics, Armor of Shadows, Guiding Bolt, Faceless One, Burnished Heart, Githzerai, Monk, Campfire, and Astarion the Decadent. So you might remember this guy if you played Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, Candle Keep Sage, Mighty Servant of Luko, interesting, Foil Minthara, Merciless Soul, another one from Baldur's Gate 3, and a Soldier Token. 
Okay, so on to the next one here. So yeah, I do not recommend picking these up, especially if they're charging $39.99. That is a bit rich. Let's see if we can do okay out of this next one. So let's check out. So we've got the islands here. Okay, those are going for about 15 bucks a piece last time I checked. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Crimson Val. Yep, I am uh, completely unsurprised by this. We got Alchemist Retrieval, followed by Adamant Will, Blood Petal Celebrant, Repository Scarb, Persistent Specimen Apprentice Sharpshooter, Bleed Dry, Dawnheart Disciple, Blood Servitor, Kindly Ancestor, Flippin' Into Ancestors Embrace, Edgar's Awakening, Arm the Cathars, Dread Fugue, and what's it going to be? Dorothea, Vengeful Victim. Yes, a victim of the uh, mystery boxes. Dorothea's Retribution and a Mountain Day-Night Token and one of these. So yeah, the double-sided cards. You use that if you're drafting as you should with the draft packs. Next up, Midnight Hunt. I was wondering, we had a whole bunch of a different set uh, the last time we opened these. So this is... Uh, Completely expected. We've got Crawl from the Cellar, and that is some creepy artwork. Jewel for Dominance, Stuffed Bear, Storm Rider Spirit, No Way Out, Bramble Armor, Organ Hoarder, Unruly Mob, Ardent Elementalist, Gale Drifter flipping into a Whale Drifter. We have Turn the Earth for the Uncommons, Thermo Alchemist, Dawnheart Wardens, and Curse of Leeches. Yes, total leeching these packs are. Leeching Lurker on the other side. We've got a Forest Day-Night Token and one of those. Okay, reaching in. What's our promo this time? Okay, another Valkyrie Harbinger. These are reliably selling for about a buck a piece on TCG Player. And another Double Masters. Okay. We're doing way better than the first six boxes of this trash. And we have an egg token. Okay. Cryptic Spires, Foil Golgari, Rot Farm, Annoyed Ultasaur, and Arjun the Shifting Flame. Okay, that's not that crazy. Pillar of the Parans. That is not bad. Nefalia Smuggler, Cold Steel Heart, Moldrifter, Chronicler of Heroes, Manalik. Strands of Undeath, God's Willing, Aether Snipe, Quasali Pride Mage, Living Lightning, and Thrive. Okay, so another pack of Double Masters. And let's see, yep, another Baldur's Gate, as you might expect. So it's all the packs that are trying to offload here. The things that don't really sell too well. We have a Marble Diamond, Decanter of Endless Water, Bronze Walrus, Carnelian Orb of Dragonkind, Murkow's Invoker, Goliath Paladin, Sylvanus's Invoker, Dream Fracture, Shiny Impetus, Zentarum Banner, Astral Confrontation, You Meet in a Tavern, Command Tower, Nemesis Phoenix, Passageway Seer Contraband Livestock, and Miriam Sentinel Worm for the rare, Scion of Halister, Mirror of Life, Trapping, Looks like a portal type thing there. Foil, Ellen, Harbreeze, Busybody, and a Construct token. Okay, we have one more to crack. And I did pick up a bunch of these. So we will do some more openings in future. Let's see if I can get into this. And I'm pretty sure we won't make it into the Greatest Hits playlist. But just in case we do, link in the corner. Check it out. So the craziest pulls in magic history on the channel. Okay, so another island. What else? So let's see here. Oh, Masters 25. All right. So we saw Masters 25 in the first bunch of boxes. Starting off with Soul Bright Flamekin, Loyal Sentry, Vampire, Lacerator, Chartooth Cougar, Horseshoe Crab, Ambassador Oak, Accumulated Knowledge, Skeleton Eyes, Fathom Seer, Geist of the Moors, and Perilous Mere for the Uncommons, Freed from the Real, Law Scale Coatl, and Rest in Peace, a bit like our hopes and dreams here, Foil, Uncaged Fury, 
and a spirit token. So that one was sadly underwhelming. Here we have a very nice Pringle. It is again a Valkyrie Harbinger. So I'll probably whack those up on TCG Player at some point. All right, another Baldur's Gate pack here. So yeah, definitely check out the affiliate link in the description. Really helps out the channel. So if you do a purchase on TCG Player with that. All right, we have Citadel Gate, followed by Universal Solvent Marching Duo Drone, Astral Confrontation, You Meet in a Tavern, Command Tower, Hoarding Ogre, Grey Salad, Roving Harper, Basilisk Gate, Nimble Claw Adept, You've Been Caught Stealing, Arms of Hadar, and Sapphire Dragon, Banishment, Draconic Muralist, Mahadi Emporium Master, Inspiring Leader, and Descent into Avernus, along with a Foil Dream Fracture and Copy Token. So yeah, another underwhelming set of pulls. Let me guess, Crimson Vowel. Oh, okay, Baldur's Gate. So we're going to be hunting for the Ancient Copper Dragon today. We actually pulled one of the Ancient Dragons in one of the previous episodes of these. We have a Marble Diamond, Goggles of Night, Clockwork Fox, Your Temple is Under Attack, Cloakwood Swarm Keeper, Sea Hag, Stirring Bard, Thieves Tools, Martial Impetus, My Conid Spore Tender, Aracocra Sneak, Janassian Forces, Deadly Dispute, that is actually not a bad pull, Abdel Adrian Gorian's Ward, Inspired Tinkering, Modify Memory, and Astarion the Decadent. He's like, you remember me? And Sion of Halister, Mirror of Life Trapping. Oh dear. Font of Magic, it's a mythic. All right. Not bad. And a Dragon Token. So let's see, we have one more pack here. It is Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. So it seems like you either get like Kamigawa, Midnight Hunt, Crimson Vow, I'm guessing Streets and New Capenna would probably be in these as well. Final pack magic here. Let me know in the comments if you found any of these. Get anything decent. We have Spell Pierce, Virus Beetle, Greater Tanuki, Cyber Trespassers, Mother Mother Rider, Mother Rider Patrol. Okay then, Tuashi Song Shaper, Twisted Embrace, Guardians of Obro, and Kumano faces Kakazan. On the other side, it's an etching of Kamano, Roadside Reliquary, Okiba Salvage, Colossal Sky Turtle, and Kami of Transience, along with a Foil Grave Lighter, Dismal Backwater, and Samurai Token. So that is three more mystery power boxes. Let me know in the comments what you think. I do not recommend picking these up. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.